My name is Tiffany, and I'd like for you to elaborate on what it meant to you to be the third McIntyre to play at Madison Square Garden. Woo! Thank you. And the second part of that, um, did your road manager, tour manager, producer, did you ask him to do Madison Square Garden? Him or her? Did I ask them if I could do Madison Square Garden? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll start with that one first. <clears throat> Uh, Live Nations were the one that put the whole tour together and they, along with my manager at the time, Clarence Spaulding, they routed it to where we could play Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles and end the tour in Madison Square Garden. And I'm not sure they knew the history or not, but when they told me we would be playing Madison Square Garden, I said, did you know that my grandpa roped calves there in the 30s and then daddy roped steer, uh, calves also in the 40s? And we had a big picture. Were you there at the concert? No, ma'am. Okay. Well, we, we put a big uh, picture on the screen of all the contestants in 46, I'm pretty sure. And they had circled Daddy's picture. And there was a postcard from 34 or 36 from Grandpa to Grandma McIntyre to back to Limestone Gap, Oklahoma. And the front of it was Madison Square Garden where Grandpa was roping. So it was very emotional very meaningful to Alice Pake, Susie, and me to get to be there. Pake didn't come. He had a singing engagement, but Alice and Susie did come. It meant the world to us to be there. Thank you for asking that question. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. From Madison Square Garden to Broadway, you played Annie Get Your Gun there on Broadway. Yeah. And one of the cool parts